Hello, Mut here. Welcome to another video. Today I have a new exciting products from Arteza again. Uh, I have this uh, beautiful uh, mixed media notebook, eight and a quarter and eight and a quarter inches. So it's a square format. It has beautiful cloth bound uh, cover, and uh, it comes in a pack of two. So it's very good. It can take many mediums like watercolors, acrylic paints, so it's very suitable for mixed media and it has very thick pages. Uh, I have a very nice plans for this uh, notebook that I'm going to use later on. Uh, I think uh, I will start a series of collage uh, journal, so I'm going to use this for those. In addition to the notebook, I have a few very nice uh, paints. Uh, these come in these uh, nice pouches which makes them very easy to use. They are metallic acrylic colors, not iridescent, uh, metallic acrylics, so they are uh, more opaque, uh, but they have a very nice shine to them. So I have a few colors and I uh, selected on purpose uh, the colors of uh, tropics, so tropical colors, for my project that I'm going to show you today. It has a nice nozzle. Uh, and uh, you can squeeze uh, all the paint out of this so I find it very practical. They have a lot of colors but I have these six for now and I swatched these colors on my notebook for you to see the colors. I really love them. Uh, this turquoise, uh, sea green, lime green and uh, chateau rose uh, will make a great background and then we have the red and orange uh, for our focal points that you will see. So I'm going to start by creating my background to, um, using these uh, two colors first. I'm going to aim for an ombre look. Uh, so from dark to light, uh, I will start from the top of my pages and I will go down to the bottom of the pages. Uh, I started with the beautiful turquoise color. Uh, acrylics can be dense sometimes. These are heavy body as well. So you can always thin them out uh, with water. Uh, that's what I am doing here. And uh, I'm just uh, blending them nicely uh, before they dry uh, from color to color. By the way, we are in complete lockdown now in the UK because uh, people were not listening and they were going out and parks were full because the weather is nice uh, of all times in the UK. Uh, the weather was very bad in the last few uh, months, always raining and dark and grey. And now it's beautiful outside, so it's becoming difficult to stay inside. Uh, but now the government uh, issued uh, heavier measures, so uh, you cannot go out uh, in a few people. You have to be maximum two and all those things. And all the shops are shut down now. So yeah, uh, there's nothing to do but uh, craft and uh, read and spend time at home. I am uh, keeping positive, uh, try to learn things from this and, uh, you know, just move on. Um, and I hope you're all safe and uh, at home, um, trying to engage yourselves, what can we do. And now I'm going to switch to the lime green color, which I love uh, absolutely. Um, and I love tropical colors, uh, all these vibrant uh, colors. Uh, it just makes you instantly happy. Uh, that's why I wanted to use uh, happy colors today. And uh, after this lime green color, I'm going to switch to the Chateau Rose, uh, and uh, you'll have a nice ombre background. Uh, all these colors are uh, cool colors and uh, belong to the same um, color family. So you can't go wrong with it. Uh, if you are a beginner or uh, not uh, comfortable with colors, just uh, pick uh, tones of the same color family and uh, mix them. Uh, it will never look bad. Uh, so when you feel more comfortable, you can add more colors and see what happens. Uh, and uh, it's a really good way to uh, get more comfortable and more advanced with uh, mixing colors. I love this uh, look uh, absolutely because I use the same uh, family colors. It looks very nice and the paints are very vibrant. Uh, oh, 
there is a big shine there sorry because the, now the uh, weather is nice and there is sun I just wanted to show you how nice it looks uh, again I have a code discount code from Arteza I will put all the links down below uh, and you can use my code until uh, 7th of April uh, so if you want to uh, buy these beautiful paints uh, I will put all of them down below and you can use the code to get them cheaper uh, and uh, I decided that I will do some splashes with the darker and the lighter color that I used lightest uh, lightest color I will concentrate at the top and darker color at the bottom so that there is some kind of cohesiveness and interest at the background apart from the uh, painting that I did coming to my uh, focal point uh, these are uh, some toucans actually uh, drawn uh, by uh, my lovely uh, crafty friend she's very talented in the uh, drawing so uh, when I was crazy about toucans uh, at some point I asked her can you draw me toucans because I can't draw like this uh, so she kindly drew and sent me these and I just printed them and using them Sorry, I won't be able to give uh, links because they are not on sale. I'm just showing you here that you can use uh, your acrylic paints to color as well. I wanted them to be black. So I used my Arteza craft paint, uh, which I will put the link down below as well, uh, to color this. And then I'm using my white gel pen to go over the details and differentiate the lines. So all the black don't blend uh, into one another uh, and we know the uh, lines of uh, where the leg separates from the wing or you know uh, the highlights and everything so it's a way to uh, color something in black pitch black and then you can use your white gel pen uh, to give the details back another way to color uh, pitch black is uh, you can use your markers this is my Posca acrylic uh, marker uh, it's uh, permanent and uh, as you see it uh, colors with a nice uh, dark black uh, you can use your alcohol markers as well but uh, I prefer to use acrylic markers uh, when I am coloring and sticking and gluing down alcohol markers will color it nicely uh, but uh, it won't make it uh, non-porous uh, if you use ac acrylic uh, markers it will become non-porous directly so you can do your shading and everything easily uh, but uh, I mean it's not a big deal if you use matte medium uh, you will make it non-porous to be able to manage uh, on top and uh, I'm going to use my acrylic uh, iridescent colors from Arteza again uh, there are a couple of colors that I love uh, I love this yellow for example and because it's iridescent it will be semi-transparent which will not uh, uh, go over the black lines that I have on my uh, images uh, which is very nice uh, so I'm just taking a little bit with my brush and uh, coloring my uh, birds and uh, you can do your uh, shading afterwards with markers or uh, different acrylic paints as well I don't care about the lines because I'm going to cut these out the sentiment is super funny no one does the can can like the toucan uh, I love it it's also created by my friend black and yellow combination will create a nice contrast over my background uh, and I'm taking another color orangey color uh, to just uh, give some uh, shadowing uh, over the beaks and uh, so that they become uh, a little bit more realistic but I will leave the final details after I uh, glue my two guns over my page before that uh, I want to do some stenciling this is bamboo from Kaiser Craft uh, and I really love this uh, stencil uh, I don't know why uh, anything tropical I think I love uh, that's why uh, I took my uh, modeling paste which is about to finish so it's a little bit dried out but uh, I'm going to finish it anyway and I'm going to mix it with a, a green color again uh, my uh, Arteza acrylic paints uh, they are the craft paints which is the mixed media paint so it's fluid 
and I'm going to use the green color uh, any color you use uh, on a uh, modeling paste will be a little bit lighter than uh, its original color because it's mixing with white but uh, to make it uh, darker you can add it again uh, so that's what I'm going to do here for me this was very light so I'm adding a little bit more uh, to darken the pigment in the uh, modeling paste and when I am happy uh, I will just uh, go over the stencil and do some bamboo trees uh, around my page uh, I will do it like in the right and left side of my uh, notebook as you see it goes very well with the background uh, it stands out uh, but it's at the same tone so creates a very nice harmonious look if you do something wrong or it smudges more you can always clean it before it dries you have quite a bit of time just use your baby wipe and wipe it off your page I'm going to use these bamboo sticks at the bottom of the page too but first I want to uh, glue my toucans so that I can uh, stencil over the toucans so they cover the bottom of their legs I think it will be it will look more natural that way and I waited uh, for the bamboos to dry to glue my toucans by the way otherwise it will be like um, a little bit messy I'm just using my matte medium, go over the uh, toucans and just glue it over my page. Uh, I always get the question uh, where do I print my images because the ink smears uh, when you use uh, glue or matte medium is true. It will smear a little bit but uh, you can always clean it with a baby wipe. Uh, second, uh, if you use dry brush uh, to use with your matte medium and uh, if you are gentle uh, do it slowly and gently it smears at a minimum level it doesn't bother me uh, and you can always use white gel pen or gesso and something else uh, if something bothers you to delete or make it whiter in this case uh, there's a little bit blackness at the body of the two cans because I use the wet brush but I'm going to color them anyway so you see how you manage uh, digital uh, images when you print them over uh, inkjet printers uh, here when I color it with a darker color uh, they are already invisible but if you use again uh, a dry brush uh, with the matte medium and be gentle it smears really lightly uh, you don't even notice it that's my experience at least uh, and I am just uh, using this red color uh, from the same set uh, to go over these areas uh, and I'm going to color with the same uh, my uh, male toucans uh, uh, bow tie sorry for the sun by the way um, if I have curtains uh, but if I close them completely it will become very dark uh, and the sun comes and goes uh, so it changes uh, it's not ideal look but uh, bear with me please so I'm using now my Faber Castell pit brush markers uh, to continue my coloring and shadowing I just find it a little bit easier to manage with those and this is Nuvo crystal drops in yellow color uh, there are flowers, little flowers on the body of the toucan and uh, I'm just going to use this yellow uh, drop, crystal drop uh, for those flowers because then I will have a little bit dimension and interest and uh, for the center of the flowers I used the white one and as you see I'm using an acrylic paint, uh, Arteza craft paint in white to go over the body of my uh, toucan so it's now uh, really white uh, and uh, I'm using a green uh, color uh, Faber Castell pit brush marker to do some shadowing all around my toucans to make uh, to make them uh, more natural uh, so that it doesn't look uh, they're all glued there 
I think these details are important and makes things definitely look uh, m with more depth, uh, more natural. Uh, I don't know, it just looks uh, so much better uh, if you don't leave your images uh, all glued and uh, there is no shadows and highlights. Um, and when I finish this, uh, I will just uh, then uh, use my stencil again to go over the bottom uh, to create my bamboo sticks over my two cans uh, this way it will look like they are dancing in a jungle after that I'm going to uh, use my sentiment and uh, cut it out to uh, stick it down on my page uh, because there is this uh, beautiful uh, curves I will try to cut them some of them at least with this uh, curve uh, so that there is a it becomes a little nicer and uh, more interesting and uh, my uh, cutting uh, goes with these curves and I'm going to use my glue uh, this is a Nuvo glue uh, to stick down my uh, sentiment I just didn't want to use uh, matte medium because I didn't want to smear it's too black uh, and uh, I didn't want to have uh, problems on the white uh, and uh, I will complete the page with this uh, detail I'm using this red and uh, orange uh, colors that I had from the metallic set and uh, just painting a, a normal cardstock and I'm going to use my butterfly uh, punches uh, to create some nice small butterflies in these colors uh, so my page you will see it will be more cohesive and more vibrant uh, and I will match the colors I used on the two cans uh, it's all about a balance uh, if you have your colors balanced your page will look nicer and here it is I just uh, glued them uh, over the page uh, drew the antennas uh, and made little black dots uh, to for all the colors come together uh, as you see there is these colors black white uh, and the background colors uh, all in harmony with a beautiful shine that's coming from the uh, paints i hope you enjoyed this fun page uh, and uh, at least it made your day uh, brighter for uh, about uh, 17 minutes so much for watching and see you next time